Hello everyone. Hello, hello. It is Lisa from Crafting and Cruising with my sidekick Rodney in the background. Doing a few comments today. Hello Read everyone. comments for us. We're in an event today with the Empowered Creatives. That is uh, my business coach, Chris Hunter. And if you're watching, you may be watching on my page. Hopefully you're watching on the Creative Friends in the Box with Chris hashtag FitB page because the event is being streamed there, also being streamed into the Crafty Bunch. So, one way or the other, you ought to be able to see us. We only have 45 minutes. I've already done a lot of my project because there was no way I could do it in 45 minutes, but I left plenty to do with y'all and I still probably will have to do some afterwards. So, when you hop on, hey, Carol Ann, say hi. Let us know you're here. Hey, Deborah Jen. Um, Ronnie will be reading comments. Thank you, Chris. And um, if um, you have questions, um, I'll try to answer them while I'm creating. If not, um, I'll go back and read the comments afterwards, okay? It's been an incredible, amazing event so far. Fabulous, fabulous creators, beautiful creations. Thank you, Chris, for spending so much time. Hey, Linda. Um, doing things for us like this to help promote us and our business and bringing in seasoned creators who can um, kind of boost us up. I really, really appreciate you. Hey, Veronica, and love you so much. So, you guys, um, I don't know if you just heard Mama P or not. Uh, Cheryl, if you didn't, go back and listen because we had church while she was crafting, and um, I'm going to ask her to type it all out for me because... I don't want to forget what she said. It was so good. Hey, Sally. So, um, I love Christmas. I love everything about Christmas. Um, I love the mystery and the magical feeling of Santa Claus and watching children's faces. And um, so, I had a real hard time picking out what I was going to do exactly. I had a sleigh. This is a sleigh I got. It was red all the way around. It's metal. Um, I got it at a thrift store. And I knew I wanted to do that. Y'all, look at some of these papers I have. Uh, is that not precious? Like, this was my favorite. But it would not um, fit on here, no matter what I did. Um, look at this one. Oh, that's the same one. Okay. Look. Isn't that sweet? Thank you. I wanted to put this one on the, on the front. Old-fashioned sleigh rides. But I couldn't get that to fit either. And then this is not Santa, but I just love her. So, I went on Etsy, and from Maddie Beast Designs, I found just the paper that I wanted to use. I'm going to show you. <clears throat> I printed it on regular paper first so that we could figure out the sizes that we needed. These are the ones we're using on the front and back, and then we're checking the sides. So, my husband was gracious enough to make me a pattern to put on the side of my sleigh with a piece of carbon paper under it so that I could trace my checks off. And then I said, but what about the other side? Well, being the MacGyver that he is and having the brain he does, he put another piece of carbon paper the opposite direction from this so that it would, as I was marking it, it would mark on the back. Then I could flip it around, stick a piece of carbon paper under it, and have the very same pattern on the other side. Hey, Carol Stinson. Hey, Carla. So, um, y'all, my brain doesn't think like that. His does. Mine doesn't. So, when it comes to things like that, I say, here, honey, would you just do that for me? And then I'll take over from there. Hey, Vermar Designs, how are you? Okay, so, I've already done one side. I used a red paint. It's actually called Lipstick Red from Folk Art. I mixed it with a Pearl X Jacquard Sparkle Gold Pigment Powder just to give it a little bit of a different color. You can't tell it as much now that I've waxed over it, but you can tell some. I went on and put the image on the front. I printed this on rice paper. I had downloaded it on my computer, and I printed it on rice paper. And if I can get the light just right, you can see where I've put a little bit of diamond dust on his beard 
and the um, cotton going down the front of his outfit and around the trim and then on the poinsettias, okay? So, hey, Dina Ray. So, <clears throat> now, the first thing we're going to do is go on and apply our paper on the back. I'm going to tilt you down a little bit, and I'm going to take these glasses off and put some other fancy schmancy glasses on so maybe I can see a little bit better what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm going to tilt you down. Now, I'm going to keep a real close eye on my time because if we start running out of time, I, the most important thing to me is not for you to be able to see me do all the checks. That takes a few minutes. Um, so first we're going to do our decoupage. My decoupage medium of choice, choice is Debbie's, DI, Debbie's Design Diary DIY Liquid Patina. I'm just going to start calling it liquid patina like other people do. This is great to use, especially with napkins and rice paper, because it's thin. If you're using a um, um, scrapbook paper or something heavier, you might want to use Mod Podge. But this is what I choose to use on napkins. Where's my little design? On napkins and on rice paper. Here he is. Okay. So, look at his little face. Now, is, some people would probably say he looks a little gruff because he's got all those wrinkles. I just think he's sweet. So, on this metal, the first thing I did was put a coat, actually more like closer to two coats, of slick stick on here. Because if I had just put the white chalk paint on here, anything that touched it or scratched it would have left a big scrape right there. It would have peeled the paint off. So, I put a coat of Slick Stick by Dixie Belle on there first, and then I put only one coat of chalk paint, and it was Waverly Chalk Paint in the color Plaster, okay? When you're doing, um, oh, I need to move that down a little bit because I don't want his hat totally on here. When you're doing um, decoupage, most of the time, there's probably some exceptions. I'm not sure what they would be, but most of the time, you want your underneath coat to be white. Now, this rice paper and this pattern is thick enough to where it probably would not have shown through. But a lot of times, if your paper's thin, and especially if you're using napkins because you're only using one ply of the napkin, um, you want to make sure, Ronnie, back this up just a little bit, will you? I think I got it. I don't know. Um, I'm trying to turn it toward me so they get a good view. You want to make sure that you, um, have it light color underneath, okay? So, <clears throat> I've got him on here. Now, I'm just going to put another coat on top of this same medium just to make sure that it's down well. I am, when this dries, I am going to go back with the mixture of um, triple thick DuraClear. Three parts triple click, one triple click, triple thick, one part DuraClear. Actually, no, I'm not because that's packed for a trip Rodney and I are going on tomorrow. I'm only going to be using the DuraClear, straight DuraClear, just to give it a shiny coat. But I have one of those um, <clears throat> mustard ketchup bottle things that I mix three parts triple thick to one part DuraClear. Isn't he sweet? He's got the sweetest face. Now, the I've already put my little um, frogs down in here because I've got some greenery and a bunch of candy canes and two, um, a lady and a man um, gingerbread person that we're going to put in there, okay? So, that's going to dry while we start working on the side on our paint. So, I'm going to take some of this lipstick red and put on my plate, and then I actually sprayed it a little bit because it's so thick, and then I'm just going to add some of this pearl gold I told you I was going to use, and I put quite a bit when I did it before, and I'm going to take a knife and just stir it real, real well. So is that just pigment, the pearl gold? It's just pigment, uh-huh, and um, powdered pigment. Now, it really could have used a second coat to really be dark enough over this white chalk paint. But I knew that I was going to use the bare antique wax to go on the top of it because I just don't like, mo most of the time, I don't like stark white. 
There's probably an exception to that rule. Can't tell you what it is right now. Um, but most of the time, I like it more antique looking. So I'm going to use my Zen brushes that I heard about from Debbie Rigg. Um, this is actually the Black Silver by Dynasty. So she recommends Zen and these Black Silvers. And she recommends that you use half of one that's about half the size of your check or less. Because you got to be really careful when you're doing your checks that you don't go over the line. So for those of you who haven't seen or heard her do it, she tells you to offload your paintbrush in the middle of a check first. If you put it on a line, you're going to get a blob right on that line. And, and it's going to be hard to ever smooth it out. So it's better to just offload the majority of the paint in the center of your check. And then you can come around and spread it out. So I offload it in the center. I'm getting on one line and I'm pulling straight down, but not all the way because I almost went over that edge right there. Then I'm going to go over here to this other line and pull straight down. Now, you will also notice that the checks on here are not straight vertical and horizontal checks. Why would that be? Well, the other thing I learned from her is that it really looks a lot better if you follow the shape of your object. So if I had just done plain straight up and down lines, I could have done it, but it wouldn't have looked near as appealing as this does, following the shape. So that's why Rodney drew it like that for me. Well, I'm going to read a few comments here. Okay. If I can get all the names right. Tamara Hoover is watching. Hello, Tamara. And Diane Ham is watching. Welcome, welcome. Justin joined us a little while ago. Maria Chapman. Hey, sister. Where are my, my messages are not Sister and brother right. Justin. Let's get rid of this. Here we go. Y'all have to turn it around all the time just so I'm not seasoned like Debbie is. Debbie can just turn it upside down and show us on screen what she's doing. I can't do that. Okay. Carol Morton is watching. Hello, so Maria hello. Chapman. Uh, Linda Moore. Yeah, Linda. I knew Linda was on Studio here. Linda Bridget Designs. Hello, Lydia Bridget. How are you? Katrina Hanna. Debbie Freeman. Hey, Debbie. Linda Maine Moore. That's her again. You just said her. I did that. Uh, I already said Maria Moran, didn't I? No, you said Maria Chapman. Yeah, we've got lots of Marias. And that's a few of them. There's been a lot more that I missed. Y'all, I'm going to go down here. I'm not going to go all the way around the top right now. I'm going to go down here to the second row because you will also notice that the check sizes are not all the same either. That Ronnie, do you, you want to explain contours. that for me? Because I'm not, I don't understand all that. Well, I've tried to make them basically about something like three quarters of an inch wide. But then as you go around curves, they become more... Um, I think they call it keystoning when they look like a keystone instead of a square. Mm -hmm. And uh, so to make it so you have the same number of checks when you go around curves, they get a little bigger on one end. So that's the main reason. Beverly Straw is watching. Hello, Beverly. And welcome, lots welcome. of people are sprinkling. So that is very nice. I and really appreciate, appreciate y'all doing that so much. Y'all really don't understand how little things like that help creators and when I say help them, it's as far as the algorithm of Facebook is concerned. They look for, you know, interaction and sharing and things like that. But they don't want us asking people to do it. <laughs> they want it done, but they don't want us to ask people. Terry L. is watching. I'm not going to try her last name. <laughs> I would mess it up for sure. Well, hello, Terry L. We're glad you're here. Jennifer Lee's watching. Now I got a little bit over on the white there. That's not a big deal because I can go back after it dries and just touch up with my white chalk paint. I did that on the other side too. So who is already through with their Christmas shopping? Kay Silver is watching. Hey, Hello, Kay. Kay. Sherry Walton says, I'm here. I'm glad. 
Somebody asked me earlier, you said you're, that we'll be leaving tomorrow. Somebody asked, where are you taking us this week? So yeah. we're taking them to the sunny beaches of Florida. We are. Going to go down. I've got a few jobs down in the area, and Lisa's going to be hanging out in the Fort Lauderdale area probably for a while. Carol says she has not even started yet. And Becky White says hi all. Hello, hello. Y'all, I'll have to take a smaller brush to get these little pieces like down in here because this brush is way too big. So it's good to have different size brushes available when you're going to be doing checks, especially if you know they're not all going to be the same size. Vicki Anderson jumped in, says hello. There. There's my BFF. Hey, sis. Susie Simpson. First time here. Welcome, Susie. Welcome, Susie. We're glad you're here. From northern New York. I bet it's not going to be wow. sunny beaches there. She's all done shopping and decorating. She oh, just, my goodness. She just needs to plan the menu. Girl. Well, I can help her with that. <laughs> Sweet potatoes, mashed potatoes. Are you saying carbs, in other words? Yeah, some, and, and lots of pies and desserts. Mm -hmm. And Linda May Moore is spreading the love. Thank you, Linda. Yeah, he's a, we're Southerners, so we like all that good old Southern. And fried cooking. stuff, yeah. fried chicken. Fried everything. And Terry says she is not doing any shopping. Well, I'm, beside, I'm right with you, Terry. I let Lisa do the shopping. He lets me. Did you get, did y'all get that? He lets me do the shopping. Well, I don't make you do it. In no, other I'd words, be fine if you didn't. they would not get presents. If, if Lisa didn't do the shopping. But y'all know how that goes. Now, y'all, I'm just going to be honest with you. If Amazon had not come along, I don't know what I'd do. Because I used to love going to the mall and shopping, especially at Christmas. I couldn't wait. I wanted to be out among the people. I wanted to be in the mall and hear the music, Christmas music playing, and just, you know, see kids sitting on Santa's lap and all the de decorations. That was like life to me. Clara and, Christiana says, boy, oh boy, I love this gorgeous craft. Thank you. But um, I don't enjoy getting out and shopping now, y'all. I, If I have to, I'll go shopping for a little while, but I, you have to practically pull teeth to get me to do it. I don't like it. I don't like being in the malls. I don't like being in stores. Um, I don't like being in big crowds of people because this day and time, you can't trust them. Linda Moore says, awesome, you're coming to my state. I'm in Central Florida. Oh, that's right. I forgot you were in Florida, Linda. So we're going to be Fort Lauderdale, probably Miami, Stewart, and uh, Naples. And then I may go over and do a job in Alabama. Near Mobile. Okay, y'all, we're coming right along. But I don't think we're going to get this whole side finished. And that's why I did the other side. Because I wanted you to get a feel for what my plan was. Veronica says it's 80 today in Orlando. Oh, Veronica. Ooh. It feels good here, though. It's about 65 maybe here. Yeah, I love it here today. It's good. <laughs> Linda says Rodney can keep making the money and Lisa can shop and be in her glory. There you go, <laughs> Linda. You got it, sis. Vicki Anderson, thanks for sharing. Thank you, sister. And Vicki says she just told her husband that today about the mall, I guess, about not getting out and shopping. Can't do it anymore. Karen says she feels the same way you do. And Doris says, me, I saved all year. I got all the gift cards. That's smart. Oops, I went a little bit over on that one. See, that one's supposed to be white. So I'll go back and touch that up after everything's dry. Clara Christiana is from Southern Italy, and I love all the fried foods. I don't like, oh, it don't like me, but I love it. I know. It's, it can be very hard on the gut if you're not used to eating that way. Shelly Stacklin, welcome. Sister, hello. So glad you're here. Peggy Brahman Bruzy, B-R-U-Z-E, -E, is watching. Hello, Peggy. Welcome, Peggy. Glad you're here. And here's uh, Susie says, lasagna, fresh homemade. Rolls, Texas Roadhouse butter, coleslaw, pie, Scandinavian cream cake. Got to figure out something. Uh, see more here. The rest, just uh, get the invitations ready. We'll be heading that way. That's right. Just let us know what time. Chrissy Schneider is watching. Hey, Chrissy. 
And uh, Burmar Design says there's hardly any miles left around here. That, probably, well, there's not many A lot of them here. are getting kind of run down. One of, one of ours, they turned into a, about into a hospital. Yeah, for that, sure. Vanderbilt pretty well took it over. Yeah, 100 Oaks. That's right. They did. There's still a few shops there, but but they took over a lot of it. But sure. I love sitting in my recliner, my computer on my lap, just ordering up a storm. Yep. Yeah. Rodney dreads it because every day when he comes in, he's got boxes upon boxes. He said, well, looks like you've been ordering again. Yep. Christmas is coming. That's what I've been doing. And Carol Ann says it's too people-y for me. Yeah. I, I love being around pe people, but I've gotten, in my older age, I've gotten more scared, y'all. I don't know. There's just crazy stuff happening. Jackie Lynn Jackson is watching. And I don't, I don't want to live, I don't live in a spirit of fear because that's totally against God's teaching. Um, but at the same time, I have wisdom too. To know when I just don't feel comfortable doing something. And even if it would have been fine, I'm just not going to chance it. Sorry, I know y'all can't Koski see. says, my father was Southern, so I grew up on everything fried and sweet tea. Mm-hmm. I used to drink lots of sweet tea, but I switched over to unsweet. Not I getting, me. I was getting too fat. Not me. I'll just have to take the fat, y'all. Linda says, you'll be about three hours south of me. I'll be watching for you. <laughs> yes, 82 at my house. Way too hot. That's what Veronica Vicky said. Anderson says, 51 in Shepherdsville. Yeah, she's right outside of Louisville, Kentucky, y'all. LaBelle Junks, Junk says, she loves the sleigh. Thank you. I thought it was Jody, cute slay too. Jody Stocker is watching. Y'all, um, <clears throat> one thing, and what was I just fixing to say? Because I just had it on my mind. I was going to talk about the project. You were probably going to say something about that it's 305 and you're going to pretty soon switch over to the rest of it so you can finish it up. No, that's not what I was going to say. <laughs> Good try, but that's not what I was going to say. Um, I was going to say something real profound, y'all. Bobby Ulrich is watching. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. And Justin says, sweet tea is always good. Justin, brother, i start, got to start getting on your page again. And Carol. I never get your notifications, and I've signed up for them so many times. I know you don't really want to get Telegram, but I'm one of your followers who does, does like Telegram, so I wish you would get it. He's got it. He just doesn't use it. Yeah, I know. That, that's true. That's what he said the other day, but... Stacy Lehman uh, loves the sleigh. Thank you. Julie Steph is watching, or Steffi, Steph, I'm not sure which one. And uh, Karen says she's not buying Christmas gifts this year, not in the spirit. Oh, I'm sorry. And Kathy's country goodness, not all of us. See, Jesus is the reason for the season, but love me some Santa. That's all right. And Tracy Honecker's watching. Everybody saying hi to Justin. Justin, my brother. And Ronnie needs to get another job in Virginia so we can come see Justin. I was just up there about a week ago. I know, but you weren't right by him. I was close. We actually looked it up, Justin, to see if he was going to be close to you. That was the time before. I've already been back once since then. He was going to call you if he was going to be close. but Sometimes I'm just... Sometimes I just set it on 70 and cruise them down the road. So I've got quite a bit of touch-up to do on here, y'all, because when I talk, then I get distracted and um, I mess up. I'm hello. sure y'all don't do that. Yom is watching. Hello, Angie hello. Angie Brothers says, hello, my friend. Hey, Sister Angie, I loved your frame and Santa looking in the window. That was precious, and I'm with Chris. That color paint you made was fabulous. You need to you need to make that and bottle it. It was so pretty. And Peggy uh, Bruzy B R U Z E says, "Are you using a Zen brush?" I'm using a Black Dynasty, which is very much like a Zen. Short, fat, flat, and firm. When you're doing checks, that's what you want. And it's 38 degrees in Princeton, Illinois, says Sandra Anderson. Are y'all getting snow? If it's going to be cold like that, 
which I love because I love cold weather. I want snow, y'all. Justin says, I have my whole month of December scheduled posted on my page. So, you don't I know, know where he's going to be. Just... I know, I know, I know. <laughs> but... Back on you again. You have to go to his page and look uh, it up. Justin. Can't cater to everybody. Well, he should cater to me. And Carol Ann, S-A-A-V-E-D, all right, Savadra, says she did the exclamation telegram. Oh, good. Justin Krauss, Linda Ward. Okay, so they're saying hello to each other. Yeah, so that's a good point, y'all. If you in the comments, if you if you're on my page, not in the um, not in the Empowered Creatives, but our Creative Friends in the Box. If you're on my page, if you'll put in exclamation point Telegram, it will bring up a link that you can go to to join my Telegram. I use Telegram every single time I go live. And you can, I, I love it. I just, it keeps me from having to think, oh, did I post it in all the places? I do still try to post it on my page, too. But if I have forgotten to post it on my page and you're on my Telegram list, you'll still get notified. Y'all, I'm almost through with these checks, except for the touch-up. And the time? 310, we're doing good. Yep. Um, let's see what all we got on comments here. Carol Stinson's only buying for her seven-year-old granddaughter and two great-grandboys. Can't afford any more. That's all right. It's not about the money, is That's it? That's right. Um, let's see. Pam Connor, Brig P -R -I -G -H -M, Brigham, mm -hmm. is watching. Brigham. Mm -hmm. Like Brigham Young University. Linda Ward, uh... Nowakowski says that's how I stopped at Justin's house. We were on our way to South Carolina. Oh, isn't it fun? It, Vicky y is this, go ahead. Vicky says the checks are so cute. Thank you, Vic. Um, that's I think that's one of the biggest takeaways for me in the crafting situation. Whether you make a business out of it or not, just being a part of the crafting community is such a a blessing. Maria we, Nova says, I love sleighs. I do too. Um, we laugh together. We cry together. We pray for each other. Um, you know, we're there for each other. If you need a shoulder to cry on, I, it's just, I don't know. It is, I totally did not expect all of the benefits that I have received when I started crafting. So, uh, Clara Christina, C -A -H -R -I -S -T -A, Christina, said that the your brushes remind a lot her of her short, fat, flat, firm. <laughs> Sounds stop. like me. <laughs> you stop. Oops, I see one I started down there where I was offloading my brush and I never went back and finished it. I got a hair right here that's not going to help too much either. Hello from Australia. Ooh, it's 96.8 here. Stinking hot. I would love winter right now. Yes. Come on over here. Julie Steffi. Steph, S-T-E-F-F. -F, it's probably just Steph. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I appreciate what, you What part home. of that huge, huge country are you from in Australia? I know there's not a lot of people from out in the middle. Everybody's pretty much around the edges, but you have to to know where. Almost, y'all. Carol Cantu is watching. Hello, Carol. So, I have started my shopping, but I'm nowhere near through because this is what I do. I ask my children and my grandchildren to give me a list of what they want, preferably from Amazon. <laughs> and um, then I go through and decide what I want to get them, and I'll let, you know, the moms of the grandchildren know what I'm going to be buying. So they won't hopefully get doubles of. That has happened a few times. Um, and then I can just sit back and wait for it to be delivered. And then I can wrap at my own leisure, which I love to wrap. But um, after a while, I get real tired of it. So unlike my sweet friend Vicky on here who puts fabulous bows on all her packages, I don't usually put bows or ribbons at all. But this is what I was going to tell you all a while ago. Funny thing about me. I don't like gift sacks. I love the joy of opening presents 
and watching people open presents. So, doesn't necessarily mean all my presents will be wrapped, but if I have anything to do with it, they will. All right, I'm going to get a smaller brush now. Look at this teeny tiny brush. Very small. Listen to this thing. Nicole Pro Sparkle Junkie is watching. I love That's her. a good name. She did our Crafty Bunch shirts. And Terry says she's had snow the last two days here in Arizona. But what? it was a light dusting in the mountains. No, I feel the white, uh, white Mountains, is that what they're called? The White Mountains are, I think, in the one area, but it's, it's also, they get snow up in the Grand Canyon area, too. Oh. I'm not sure which one she's in. Hey, I think we talked to her before. I think she is down toward the White Mountains, maybe. And Brenda Moon Flinders is watching. Hello, Brenda. Welcome, welcome. So, y'all, have you been enjoying this event? I bet you've gotten so many ideas I have. I just, it, and what's so interesting to me, somebody mentioned this earlier, and I thought it was such a good point. I don't think any two crafters have chosen to do the same thing. Captain uh, Maria says your red and white checks are adorable. Thank you. Um, which I think is pretty amazing that nobody had the same idea in mind or did the same thing. Because there's been, I think somebody said there were 17 crafters yesterday and maybe 16 today. Y'all, it doesn't end till like 9.30 tonight or 9 o'clock. Chris can tell us she's on here. Um, so, you still got lots and lots of crafters to watch. Brenda's main Flinders says, what did you say about BYU? I think she was just clarifying. Somebody's name, I think, was Brigham. Yeah. And she was just clarifying that it was like Brigham Young. Yeah. Becky White, awesome sleigh, love it. Thank you, ma'am, Becky. Virginia DeYoung is watching. Hey, Virginia. One more. No, two more. Now, I have gone on. I did the rungs, these things, and whatever these are down here, rudders or whatever they are, um, in gold. I did them in liquid leaf gold um, because I knew that would take a while using a small brush to get down in all the cracks and crevices, so I did that ahead of time, and, um, where does that, here it is, um, and then I did that other side, and like I told you, I did the checks, I let them dry, and then I went back in with my bare antique wax, which we'll probably get to do on this side too, um, just to make it not so bright white. I uh, see the crafting community in its entirety has helped a lot of people emotionally. So many. So, so many. And Vermar Design says, I'm doing money to all the grandkids this year. They'll have jobs but and buy what they want to, so none of them know hey, what to ask for. So we got that done. Now, I want to go back up here, go to this back part back here again. And I'm going to put a coat of DuraClear on here. And we are going to add the diamond dust. So first I'm gonna put one whole coat on so that it will all be shiny because once I put the diamond dust on, I don't wanna to have to go back and work around the areas that I've already put the diamond dust on. So I'm just gonna go on and, and put a good coat of the um, DuraClear on here, and then we'll dry it real quick, and um, then I'll go back and add some diamond dust to the parts of his hat, his beard, mustache, a little ball on his hat. We'll do all that, and then while that's drying, we will put all of the cuteness inside the middle of it. Yesterday, we went, Ronnie and I went to a couple of um, holiday markets and I was looking for a Santa to put down inside here with the greenery. I couldn't find one. I like, look at him, isn't he so cute? So, um, I got some greenery and then I got some elves to put on it that I think are so cute. So, I think, let me just drive this real quick. I want to make sure I keep about 10 minutes to do the inside. So I probably won't go and um, I probably will not go right now and 
uh, wax the other side because I need to touch up some stuff in white. But you all saw, turn it this way, you all saw this side so that you can see what the wax does. You know, an interesting thing just happened. What? I took a phone call from my granddaughter mm -hmm. while I was doing this. When I got off the call, mm -hmm. it fast forwarded you all the way up oh. to this point in time. It looked like a fast video. Well. It was still live. That's pretty cool. I think I need to sand a little bit of that off, you guys. Um, I think you just got a bunch of stars. From the thank you thing. for those stars. Do you see my little sander over here? The little yellow thing? Yeah. Here's one. Okay, that's it. If y'all don't have one of these gator sanders, you need it in your life. They are perfect for crafting. Ask okay. for one for Christmas. Now, let's go back and put a little bit of diamond dust... I'm going to go on and put the, um, put the Duraclear. I'm just going to put Duraclear on his beard and mustache. That's what I did on the other side. Instead of using, um, Mod Podge or anything, I used Duraclear. And then, uh, but it dries real fast. So you have to kind of work quickly if you're going to use that with your diamond dust. So. A little more right there and then I can just spread this around up in here up in here y'all remember diamond dust now is crushed glass now I just learned from Kathy D earlier I did not know this so y'all might like to know this too she says that when she applies diamond dust she uses Mod Podge and you know now she is the bling queen so uh, she uses a lot of diamond dust and um, she said if you use Mod Podge, it won't flake off. Did y'all know that? I didn't know it. Yvonne loves your glasses. Thank you, Yvonne. These are from um, Voog Glam. All right, so now I've got a new thing of diamond dust here because I've packed my other one. I'm just going to use a popsicle stick and sprinkle it on here, and then we will... Put the excess off on a plate so that I can put it back in here and not waste any of it. Vicki Anderson's asking if that's one of your Goodwill finds, that little sleigh. It is. It sure is. Well, I think it was a Goodwill. It may have just been a little junk store. I, I can't keep up anymore with where I get what because I get so much different stuff. Okay. Uh, hand me this little plate right here. I'm going to read a few here. Sarah Madison is watching. I may redo some of these. Rose House Crafts is watching. Rose House Crafts. Um, this, when it dries, it'll be clear. It looks a little white right now. Can they see any of the sparkle in there? Yeah, I can see it on mine. Okay. And then if you don't, if, if it went some places you didn't necessarily want it, you could just take a dry brush and brush it off. Okay, go ahead. I see. Dottie Jameson is watching. Becky hey, Dottie. Watching. I hope you're feeling better today, sister. Uh, Christiana Martin is okay. watching. So, we've got all of that done. Now, we're going to start doing the fun stuff, okay? Now, this was the reindeer I was going to put in it. He's too big. I made a bow to use on it, on this. Decided couldn't use it. So, I put him on the deer. So, when I sell this, the deer is going to come with him. He's going to be pulling the sleigh. But I'm not going to do anything else on him. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. First, I'm going to put in my little gingerbread people if I can find them. Debbie B. Leffler is here. Hey, Debbie. Good to see you, sis. Ronnie, do you see my gingerbread man and woman? Uh, gingerbread man and woman. Y'all, I just had them in here because I had worked on setting it up ahead of time to see what it looked like. Well, just look around. <laughs> they can't be far. Um, oh, here they are, at least behind you. Oh, are they? Yeah. They crawl back here on the back. They did. Those silly little things. Now, I'm going to leave the little strings on them in case whoever gets this at our auction wants to leave them on there. But there's the man. There's the Santa gingerbread and the lady. So, the man's going in the back. It's 322. Okay, let me turn it so y'all can see. Hopefully. Pull it back a little bit, Rodney, please. The camera. Uh-huh. Okay. All right, now, I want some greenery back here. 
too much excess with this camera. Let me not use both hands. And where's my other small piece of greenery? Right here. No, that's not the smallest one. Here we go. Now you sit up there, sir. Okay. I feel like what Cheryl was saying a while ago. Mama P, she said, I'm dropping everything. I just dropped some greenery under my chair right here. Is there more up here you can use? No, I've already got them up. Hold on, y'all. There she goes, under the table again. <laughs> this is the downside of not having my stuff, not being in my studio, is that... Um, They're a little more cramped here, I don't they? have much room. <laughs> okay. All right, now let's put him back in there. So if you're on the Creative Friends in the Box page, all you have to do when I get done is swipe down, pull your screen down, and then go uh, um, refresh your page for the next crafter who is going to be Rhonda's Repurposed Home Decor. She's coming up right after me. All right, you little buddies are going to need to stay in there. Okay, now, I had, I, I practiced earlier to see what I liked in here. I think I want some greenery right here. And then I had put in some of these bottle brush trees. I think I got some of them at Michael's, um, some of them at Dollar Tree, maybe. They can help hold your man in. I know, that's kind of what I'm trying to do. Uh, let's see. And big oh. one right here. Green one. Yeah, that's looking good. I'm going to have to turn it toward me a little bit, y'all, so I can see what's going on. Um, okay, and then I had this white one. Let's see I what kind of comments here. we're getting here. Let's turn that around a little bit. And then I had a couple of small ones up here. Designs by Dina says, I believe I need this in my house. Well, Dina Ray, I love that. Thank you. Stick if a you pin want in it in your house, that makes them. me feel good. So what? I suggest you stick a pin in the gingerbread people to hold them in Yeah, place. I probably will need to, for sure. Sue Robertson is loving it. If y'all have never watched Designs by Dina, that's who Dina Ray is on here. You need to go watch her replay from yesterday. She was one of the guest crafters in this event. She and her husband, Kenny, are precious. All right, y'all, here comes the fun. Ready? Shelly Stacker loves them gingies. Gingy? My daughter had a dog named Ginger, and they called her Gingy all the time. Valerie, P-R-O-U-T-E-N. Pruton is watching. Hey, Valerie. Stacy Wiseman is watching. Hey, Stacy. All right, let's put some of these bigger ones down here to give them a little. And, of course, you can bend them and turn them any way you want them, you know? Estelle Lindsay is watching. Hey, Estelle. Welcome, welcome. Connie Butler Walls is watching. And y'all, I'm not a floral designer by any stretch of the imagination. You're getting lots of hearts. Sorry, thank Joe you, Moore thank is watching. You. So, you know, these can be done any, any way you want them. They don't have to be done like this, for sure. The sleigh is adorable. Thank Mary. you. All right, can y'all see it from the front now? Let's see what else we need. Do we need anything else? They, I took these big ones off because I just think they're too big for the project. I do have some more small ones. And the Moore says she needs off. it in her home, too. We may get an auction bid going here. That's right. The sleigh is adorbs. Patty Gardner is watching. Thank you, Patty. It's absolutely adorable. It's fun. I love everything Christmas. Uh, how did he come out? This little guy doesn't want to stay in here. I'm from you Tucson. better stay in here to and take care of your girl now. He took you and the greenery out. You gotta talk to him, y'all. 
You just gotta say, mm -mm, now, I'm the boss. I'm creating this, so you just stay in your place, little man. Elaine loves it. Thank you, Elaine. Okay, let's see. We need another. So, stick Linda Morris is uh, awesome. Side. Are you going to sell this in your auction? I am. I am, I am, I am. Rose says it's so cute. One more back here. Renee Sharps is very pretty, Lisa. Thank you, Renee. I appreciate y'all. Y'all make Sandra says you should auction it right now. so good. Well, I don't think that was part of the deal. <laughs> I don't think my coach would be real happy with me if I started auctioning something. But you're mighty sweet. That makes me feel really good. Okay, let me, I'm going to turn it around so y'all can see because my time's about up. Yep, it's 3.29. There you go, y'all. So, again, I appreciate each one of you so, 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 so much being here. Here's the Santa on the back, and then we have Santa on the front. And just lots of whimsy, whimsy, whimsy stuff. So, I hope y'all have a wonderful, wonderful weekend and a fabulous holiday season. Um, it's probably going to be a week from today. Um, it'll be posted on my page. I think I have it shown on my page right now. It's Saturday, but we may not be back in town in time. So thank you. I, I love each and every one of you so much. Make sure you refresh your page if you're on Creative Friends in the Box. If not, go on over to Creative Friends in the Box with Chris because Every month, she gets together an event for us, and that's where you'll want to be able to watch them. So, have a great day. I love you, Veronica. Praying for you, sister. And I'll talk to y'all later. Bye, y'all.